Bloody hell, are we still doing these? Boom, shake the room, it's Loot Crate's a goon. Didn't think that one through. Yes, yeah, subscription box time again, guys. Let's begin, as ever, with Cratey Luto. What have they got for us this time? A, a weirdly sterile uh, intro, actually. Um, is the box going to be an interesting sight? It says June 1993 on it. Manufacturer Loot Crate. Mm. And type model something or other. Right, I'm guessing that is going to tie into something clever they've done with the box. We shall have a look later, because meantime, it's a shirt of the tea, and it's blue. Blue as the ocean. Blue as cartoon water. Blue as a... Oh, wow, it's Jurassic Park. Da, 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 sexy gold bloom looks kind of like... He's got three nipples, it's a T-Rex and Alan Grant, and look, there is Hammond in his Jeep. There we are, that will be the new theme for uh, Jurassic World 3, Shit Show on Celluloid, which I presume is what they're going to call it. Um, that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if it is. It is an official Jurassic Park t-shirt as well. I thought, that's generic enough to get away with, I would have thought, but uh, interesting. Well, if you like cartoon characters and blue t-shirts in Jurassic Park, you'd probably kill your own grandmother for one of those, especially if you hate your grandmother. Right, it's one of them. Just thought I'd mention that. Uh, what is this? Doesn't this look more Godzilla? Ah, it looks more Godzilla than dinosaur. And indeed it is an official Godzilla-saurus. Here he is looking all angry. Grrr. I'm going to breathe lasers and fight Mothras and uh, stuff. Well, there's a new Godzilla film coming out soon. This looks like more of a classic one. I'm going to leave it in the bag so it suffocates. <laughs> That'll teach you for, for being a thing. Well, it's a soft toy Godzilla. If you like your Godzillas and your soft toys, you see where we're going there. Next up, it's another washing... Yeah, quite a few washing bags for these subscription boxes, don't you? This one is... Oh, a Ghostbusters power pack. Now we are talking, brethren. You can put your um, ghosts in there and they won't get wet when, when you go swimming. As long as you leave this, like, in the changing room. Don't actually take it in there. It does appear to be quite waterproof, actually. That's quite nifty. Put it over your back. Looks like a proton pack. Ah, isn't that amazing? Then Walter Peck can come and complain at your wardrobe because it's dangerous or something. Um, what else have we got? We have... Ooh! Hulk! Bruce Banner! Oh god, right. Let's see if we can get this to actually appear on camera. You've got a very nicely drawn Bruce Banner having a migraine there. Ah, but also the Hulk! Rrr. That's quite nifty. Uh, it's a good 3D effect, which obviously you at home will not be getting, but... Uh, mm. Got to say, it's harder to see. Banner doesn't appear in the clarity that the Hulk does. I imagine that's done on purpose, as the Hulk is the more sort of thing. Oh, there we are. Look. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. I like a bit of good lenticular stuff, um, to say the least. Loot pins. Oh, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hashtag loot pins. It is the dinosaur whose name I can't remember that spits goo in the uh, guy from Third Rock from the Sun's face. There's some references and no actual names. <sighs> Marvellous. And and that is your lot. And that is your lot, gentlefolk. Uh, they're doing a Deadpool Club Merc. Um, drawstring backpack. Drawstring backpack. Sorry, I called it a swimming bag, but no. Drawstring backpack. Drawstring backpack sounds like a really good name for a fantasy character. Anyway, that be that. Did he? Oh, look. The box is... Ah ha ha! Didn't say the magic word! Yes, it's like a computer from Jurassic Park. That's a thing. Next box. Before we continue, I'm just gonna say insomnia! Not the disease, the gaming festival thing. Look, I go through this every time. Insomnia is like a really big, extremely cool gaming festival in Birmingham. It runs from the 24th to the 27th of August. That's this very month. And I'm going to be there on the Saturday and the Sunday, the 25th and the 26th. If you're there, do come along and say hi. And I would suggest you go, because it's a really bloody good event. Uh, loads of interesting stuff there, lots of modern stuff, lots of retro gaming stuff, lots of stuff to buy, lots of stuff to look at, lots of stuff to go up to and go, hmm, yes, these products are very interesting, and pretend you want to buy it, because really you just want to play with it and try it out. We've all done it. Um, yeah, it's a really solid event. Come along, I'm going to be doing some stuff on stage, I believe, with Mr Dan Bull, all-round top bloke. And you may even get to meet somebody else. 
So that is the Insomnia Gaming Festival at the Birmingham NEC, 24th to 27th of August. I shall be there on the Saturday and Sunday, the 25th and the 26th. Do come and join us. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Right, next box, it is Akibento. We haven't seen one of these for a bloody while, have we? So these are basically manga and anime things, and I don't know what any of them are. And you seem to enjoy it more for that reason. Right, what have we got? We've got a t-shirt that looks like it has a TARDIS on, actually. That can't be right, surely. No, it's a cityscape. I was right. It's not right. I was wrong. I was right. I was right that I was wrong. Rah! Brain. What, what is this? There's a man with a gun in a briefcase, standing in front of a city. Well, if, if you like th that manga, which is, is not in any way mentioned, then that, that'll be good for you. <laughs> I have no clue what that is whatsoever. Ah, now this on the other hand, I have no clue what it is whatsoever. It's a weird spherical, squishable micro. From what? 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 Tell me. Tell me, squishable. Ah, uh, it's a micro Hatsune Miku. Oh, the Vocaloid, is that correct? Like an unreal singer? Um, yeah, that, that that's a thing. This remember when she was squashed into a ball and her nose dropped off and her mouth moved up between her eyes and she didn't mind at all? Well, that that's from those days. Look, it's got a um, key ring on it so you can have it hanging from your bag and people will go, they've got one of them hanging from their bag. And it'll be the greatest day ever. Well, that, that's that's cool. Ahem. Uh, what else have we got? Ooh, a box of delights. An Akabento exclusive. S six. S six what? There are now portable devices that enables you to oversee your daily life within a virtual reality network and terrible grammar. We brought an exclusive companion for you to accelerate yourself into this new world. High quality material that gives you a firm grip when squeezed. Way. Ooh. It is. It's just a ball. Oh no, it's a ball with a pig's face. But virtual reality squeeze stress ball pig. Oh, it's not a very good stress ball. It's sort of a little bit too. It's not quite pliable enough, and it's got a weird sort of texture. It feels like paint's going to flake off it. But it isn't, to be fair to it. Um, well, that, that's my favourite anime pig box virtual thing. No bloody idea. Oh, it was a badge. What is this? Akabento Cyber. 2018. Ooh, with lots of leaks for a bit of uh, leak spin going on. Um, f fair enough. Don't know why I'd want that badge. And finally, no, it's not finally. There's more stuff in there. I apologise. Um, Excel World. Do not microwave tumbler. <gasps> tumbler. That's Batman's car. Amazing. Oh wait, no, it's literally a tumbler. Um, that's quite quite a nice tumbler actually. Yep. Put your drink in there. Put that on the top and you can sip it through that and go like that and then it hopefully won't leak. It is Excel World, where these these people do acceleration. I have no clue whatsoever. This is That is totally out of my sphere of knowledge, unlike everything else, which I was, of course, the world's leading expert on. Next up, Psycho Pass. Car air freshener? So it smells of strawberries, does it? Oh god, it does actually, very potently. Um, there we are. Investigation Department, Ministry, something public sanitation, I don't know. Well, Psycho Pass. That, that is also a, a Japanese thing. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, there's not a single thing I've actually heard of here. Well, um, Hatsune Miku, I suppose. Fly away with me as I stand in the sea. And there's a character. I've no idea what that's from whatsoever. And oh, it's a legend. As in, it will tell me what everything is, not as in it's like a legend story. So go on, what have we got? People. Hello, I'm a person and I look unimpressed with this thing. Um, what have we got then? Pink Pig Stress Ball. Yeah, we'd work that one out. One of two Psycho Pass air fresheners. Snow Princess bumper sticker. Okay, Hatsune Miku plush. One of five Excel Word tumbler or mugs. Oh god, I think we got the best one out of those. By a country mile, actually. Akabento monthly pin. And although I do quite like the design of that dark mug, actually. I'll probably use that more personally, but that is a better thing. An exclusive cyber t-shirt. Well, they haven't mentioned what it is. Well, that's a bloody shame, isn't it? Next box. Actually, a bit more housekeeping before we continue for the Ashens and the Polybius Heist crowdfunding campaign for our sequel movie. That was me being quite excited. Um, is coming to an end. 
when uh, this is probably going up on a Wednesday and it ends the following Tuesday so there's only a few days left guys um, if you do want to get on board do have a look at this link have a look in the description below where it is also linked and do consider supporting this movie if you would like to see it because you know it won't be out free on YouTube this time because we can't do that because the way it's partially funded uh, finance um yeah they actually think about it there's still a few slots uh, very few remain now to get your name in the credits at the end there's only a handful so if you do want those please do move quickly because we had some disappointed people last time but there was nothing we can do because you know you can only have so many names at the end of a film if not it just gets sort of ridiculous and looks all a bit weird right next one's a bit out of left field Surpri oh can't read it <clears throat> Surprise! There, bet you were surprised by that. So, this is a bag I got from the shop Tiger, which is the UK uh, sort of imprint, so to speak, of Flying Tiger. A shop that sells weird stuff. And it was two pounds. That's all it was, two pounds. I didn't look inside, even though there was a hole. I picked this one because it had a little felt glittery star stuck on it, and none of the other bags did. Ooh, but now this is full now, I can see it's got a lantern in it. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. Right, very pretty tape that I presume they sell in Tiger. And, ooh, oh God, it's very, very sticky, bloody hell. Ooh, there's some of this tape in here. I could use it to secure a hot air balloon or something. Go on, let's just pour it all out. What did we get for our two pounds? The answer is three items. Okay, uh, we've got an IQ spill IQ puzzle. It's some wood. Right, go on then, what, what is the concept here? Ooh, ah, minerals, do not eat, throw away desiccants, some silica gel or something. So, I presume the IQ puzzle is don't eat that. All right, what is the principle to this? Uh, right, there's a thing. There's a safety gubbins. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so, um, is you have these three parts. And there's some other bit that goes in, A, B or something, or you want to lock them together. What's the plan? Oh, I see. So uh, you have this, and you put C through, like, oh, it doesn't really go into it, actually. Uh, oh, no, it, it looks like it's supposed to go through it, but I don't think it will. I don't think it's been machined. Uh, yeah, look, the shapes are a bit off. Or do, is that a deliberate thing? Is this part of the puzzle? I don't know. Uh, it looks more to me like it hasn't been machined very well, but um, I don't really understand. Right, A, so you have A. Yeah, look, that, that is a very wonko shape. Um, hmm. Hmm. Right. And, yeah, that's not a shape like that. So, uh, hmm. I'm not entirely convinced by this, but let's have a go then. So that would apparently fit through there. Comsa. Except it clearly does not. Or maybe it just goes through like that. Well, how is it supposed to make? No, it's definitely got a bit going through it. Look. Uh, I'm probably just not understanding it. Or maybe it just doesn't work. I genuinely don't know. Because the B goes on the end here of A. So that would fit through like that. Yeah, that happens. That is a thing that occurs. Too, but this does seem to be implying that this goes through here somehow and it simply does not chums oh well i'm gonna say i failed the iq test because i can't be arsed with it next up lantern halloween lantern they've put a pen over the barcode can't see that getting to number one in any hit parade right <clears throat> m med led lease with led light oh, I see. oh it comes with the batteries look ready Time for the power of sub pound land. <laughs> Halloween lights. Ooh. Oh, it's got a bit of flicker to it, looks so like something. Oh, that's not bad, is it? I mean, just for 66.6 for recurring pence, um, we can live with that. And finally, ID band. Kids, kids ID wristband. So if your kids are out and about, you can put their name and their phone number on it. And, uh, um, if they get lost, people will know what they're called and who to call to give to get them back to the help. It's sort of made of a stretchy, rubbery stuff. That's quite impressive. Oh, well. 
I mean, th unfortunately, that is a bit specific for something to put in a blind bag, really, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, there we go. Well, there we are. For only £2, if your local tiger is doing this, you too can get three totally random items, of which will probably be of no interest whatsoever. But on the plus side, um... Um... Uh, um... Badges are real. Subscribe for more.